Endoscopic ultrasound guided liver biopsy is performed using the Olympus Arietta 850 EUS processor along with a linear echo endoscope and the EasyShot 3 plus 19 gauge needle. The prep for it involves the EUS FNB needle along with the Heplox syringe, a sterile saline flush, two surgical pathology cups and a tissue sieve. The prep for the needle is performed by removing the stylet from the EUS FNB needle and flushing it with the heparin Heplox solution. This solution is flushed through the channel and a few drops of heparin are expressed through the needle. The suction syringe is then filled with 2 cc of water and full 20 cc of suction is applied. This suction syringe is attached to the back end of the needle and this completes the prep for the needle. The needle is then passed down the linear echo endoscope and the sheath is adjusted at 1.5 cm and the suction syringe with the 2 cc of water is checked. The left lobe of the liver is found from a transgastric view just past the G junction and by turning to the left. Doppler is used to make sure that there are no intervening blood vessels between the gastric wall and the liver lobe. The easy shot needle is then approached to the gastric wall and the left lobe of the liver is then punctured with a trajectory with the maximum liver parenchyma identification. This is made sure that there is no intervening blood vessels and once the left lobe of the liver is punctured, the suction is then turned on and three actuations are made to and fro using the fanning technique. The suction is then turned off and the needle is withdrawn from the liver. The right lobe of the liver is identified by passing the echo endoscope into the duodenal bulb and torquing left. We have to make sure that there is no gallbladder or portal vein in view and that there is a direct puncture site from the transduodenal bulb wall into the right lobe of the liver. Doppler is again used to make sure that there are no intervening blood vessels. The tip of the 19 easy shot FNB needle is then advanced to the duodenal wall and under endosonographic vision the needle is punctured into the right lobe of the liver. After the needle puncture the suction is turned on and again three actuations are made with to and fro fanning movements. The suction is then turned off and needle removed. Once the puncture is completed, the suction syringe is removed from top of the needle and the needle is withdrawn from the echo endoscope. For EUS guided liver biopsy, the specimen prep is performed on site. The needle is pushed out to about 2 cm and then a heparin heplox syringe is attached to the end of the needle and gently the heparin is flushed through the needle which expresses the tissue out onto a tissue sieve. At this point the liver specimens are floating within the expressed solution. This specimen is cleansed the liver biopsy cores are separated from the fluid by use of this tissue sieve. The liver biopsy cores are then rinsed with a sterile saline solution so as to remove any blood and passage of only pure liver tissue to the surgical pathology specimen cup. Once the tissue is rinsed, off of any blood. The tissue sieve is then examined to 
macroscopically assess adequacy of the specimen and the specimen is then transferred over to the surgical pathology formalin cup. The cups are then labeled as left lobe of the liver and right lobe of the liver separately and are sent to surgical pathology for further processing. Visible tan brown fragments of liver tissue is then examined for specimen adequacy and the need for further passes is made accordingly. Music